in this problem we have y, a random variable, and f of little y is the density function. And the question is to find the mean and to find the variance. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this. So the first step will be to find the mean, which is simply mu. And that's equal to what we call the expected value, so capital E of our random variable capital Y. And by definition, this is equal to the improper integral from negative infinity to infinity of a little y times f of y dy. So now we have to look at our density function and figure out how to break up this integral. So we're integrating from negative infinity to infinity. So from negative infinity to zero, uh, or rather to 59, uh, it's going to be zero, right? Because the only time it's not zero is when y is here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show that step just to show a little bit of extra work. So this is a step that people usually skip. So we'll go from negative infinity to 59. And for these y values, f of y is equal to zero. So we just get y times zero dy. It's not a step. Uh, that's usually written. And the reason is this is going to be 0 plus, and then from 59 to 61, we simply have y f of y. In this case, f of y is equal to 1 half, so times 1 half dy. And then plus, and then we're going uh, from 61 to infinity, so 61 to infinity, y times, and in this case, uh, f of y is 0, so dy. Because it's 0 everywhere else, so the only time it's not 0 is when y is between 59 and 61, so that's this middle integral here. So y times 0 is 0, so this is going to be 0. And it turns out that when you have a definite integral and you integrate uh, 0, you're going to get a constant. But then we have limits of integration, so you're going to end up subtracting the constant, so this whole integral is going to become 0. Likewise, this is going to be 0, and then so we have limits of integration, and so when we subtract the constants, this whole integral becomes 0. So we only have to focus on this piece here. So mu is equal to the definite integral from 59 to 61. And I'm going to write it like this, 1 half y dy. All right, good stuff. Now we're ready uh, to integrate. So to integrate this, we'll simply use the power rule. So the power rule says um, that we take the exponent here of 1 and we add and divide. So 1 plus 1 is 2, so we get y squared over 2. But there's a 1 half here, and 2 times 2 is 4. So it's really just y squared. And we're going from 59 to 61. So this is equal to 1 fourth. So we plug in the 61 first, so it'll be parentheses 61 squared minus 59 squared. I am totally going to use uh, a calculator to do this because <laughs> uh, I don't want to do it by hand. 61 squared minus 59 squared. I got 240. Divide that by 4. Ooh, nice number. I got 60. So the mean is 60 in this case. So that takes care of the first piece. The second part is to find the variance. So the variance of capital Y is given by the following formula. It's the expected value of y squared minus the expected value of y, and then we square the whole thing. So we simply have to work out uh, this piece here, and then we can use this formula. So th there's a formula for this. If you are trying to compute the expected value of a function of a random variable, this is equal to the improper integral from negative infinity to infinity, and you just simply put a little y squared here, so just like that, and then f of y dy. So now we can go ahead and um, skip the steps that we showed previously. So in this case, we're just going to go ahead and make the jump and go to 59 to 61, and this will be y squared times 1 half dy, right? Because the other integrals as before, will be 0. When we integrate y squared, we'll get y cubed over 3, and then 3 times 2 is 6. So this is 1 sixth y cubed, 
and we're going from 59 to 61. So this is 1 sixth. And now we'll plug in the 61. So 61 cubed minus and then 59 cubed. So this will be, let's see, 61 cubed minus 59 cubed. Wow, big number, uh, 21602. If we divide that by 6, okay, let me just leave it like that. This is going to be 21602 divided by 6. Really, really big number. Okay, so that's going to be the expected value of y squared. So now for the variance, it'll be this piece here, which we worked out as 21602 over 6 minus the expected value of y and that whole thing squared, so 60 squared. So again, I'm going to resort to the super powerful calculator to see what we get. So 21602 divided by 6 minus 60 squared. I ended up with a very, very, very um, big number, which is I feel like I have an extra zero here. Hold on, extra zero. Messed up here. Let's see. Can't be that big. There we go. Feels better. 0.33. Ended up with a huge number. I thought that can't be right. So this is a repeating decimal. So it's actually 0.33 bar or just 0.3 bar. So one third would be the variance. So um, not so bad. You just have to uh, evaluate the integrals. So the formula for the expected value of y is this one. And then for the variance, um, you simply have to use uh, this, this formula here. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.